Hey guys, um, we're back again. So this time uh, I made some changes to the code so that we can now um, kind of like emulate a sound voltex controller from Konami. So this should work with um, SDVX EAC. And uh, I just thought I'd also walk you through the whole setup process. So here we have the Arduino software, the IDE. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab the Windows zip file Sometimes it's kind of glitchy. There we go. And here on um, Zoids's GitHub, you have the Arduino Konami spoof. You also want to download this. And of course, for my repository, you'll want to download this. So we have three things. And then what you want to do, of course, is extract them all. Okay, and uh, let's set up Arduino first. So, let's see. If you notice, uh, it goes and tells us you want to put it in portable sketchbook hardware. So we'll go into Konami spoof. We'll grab this folder. Then we'll move this over to Arduino hardware. I think it'll just put it in here. So we'll just paste it. Okay. And then you can open arduino.exe. All right, so this is a clean slate. You have nothing here. So you wanna go ahead, you wanna file and open. And then um, I'm going to navigate to where we saved our project. So we're back here, right? Pocket SDVX Master Firmware. And you want to click on Pocket SDVX to INO. Open this, it'll open the project. Now you can see all the code. Um, as stated before, you can change your key binds here. If you ended up changing the button pinouts or the LED pinouts, you can also change them here. Otherwise, I would not recommend really changing anything below this. Uh, you can change the encoder pins here if you soldered them wrong as well. But yeah, so what we need to do now, we'll plug in our controller. So we have that plugged in. And then up here in tools, in boards, right? So since we um, since we are using Zoid's SDVX thing, we can go ahead. Normally, you might have some Arduino selected here. You want to go down to Konami, click SDVX Nemesis for Pro Micro because we're using a Pro Micro. Make sure your port is selected. You might have a different COM port, but make sure it just says Leonardo or something. Make sure it's not blank. And then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and upload it. So it'll go ahead and compile the sketch. And just wait for this to finish. Okay, so it's done uploading. We can give it a test. If I open up Notepad, I'm going to unplug it. Hold down the second white button, which is also known as button B. Plug it back in. And then you can see we're outputting keystrokes. And then if I move my mouse, I can move my cursor as well. And if you want to test uh, joystick mode, 
or controller mode, hold down the first white button, also known as button A, and then what you can search here is game controllers, All right? And then this should show up, right? Soundable fix controller, go to properties, and then it should be the white buttons are buttons one, two, three, and four. FX left and right should be five and six, and your start button will skip to number nine. So this is the assignment needed for it to simulate a soundable text controller from Konami. You can also test the encoders. Looks like they work just fine. All right, so that's uh, that's getting everything set up. So if you want to know how to do bindings in, uh, for example, USC, it's pretty easy. Let me go ahead and pull it up. So here's unnamed Sound Voltex clone. For now, just use your uh, mouse, right? And then um, here, you can just click whatever you want. So this is eight, zero, one, two, three, and so on. You don't need to touch these because we are going to be using uh, controllers for both uh, button and laser. So this should just work. And then make sure you select a Voltex, select a controller as a sound Voltex controller. And uh, for the back button, I recommend don't touch this. I think it comes by default as negative one. Since we don't have a back button, uh, it's really annoying because you have to assign it to a different number. So don't click this, otherwise it's kind of annoying. Yeah. So we'll go ahead, exit, and there everything works. Cool. And then uh, I guess while I'm here, I will also show you how to set up Spice Tools. So if you don't know what this is, uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> but if you know what this is, um, here's how you set up Spice Tools and the LEDs. So I set CoinMac test and service to F1, F2, F3. Um, doesn't really matter. And then for button A, you just do bind. And then you click button A and do the rest. All right. And then for analogs, we need to also bind these as well. So you select the device, Konami Amusement Sound Voltex Controller. And um, volume left is X axis. And you can see a preview. Do the same thing for the Y axis. Uh, I don't know why this is, there we go. Cool. So you can see both of these work and all our buttons work. So lights, lights, what you do here is for HID lights, you can bind. Go ahead and select this one again. And then zero, zero, you can always test it, turn it on. This is button A, go down the list, button B. Just make sure I thought I missed that one. And then start is the very last one, number six. And uh, yeah, that's it. All your bindings are set up. And then when you close it, all your LEDs will turn off because they're no longer receiving um, HID information until you play the game. And yeah, I think that's it. This is pretty cool. Thanks for watching.